time no see everyone well it's been about three months since my last video and um, I've missed a lot of content on purpose of course um, to be quite honest um, from my time in playing adventure quest and getting on YouTube I always come around just in time for Frostwool. And it's always some good shit. Always some good shit. It's probably one of the very few events that's always promising when it comes to events, items, you know. And I know my last video was not related to Adventure Quest. It was a Spyro video. Because I was pretty hyped for, you know, Spyro Reignited Trilogy coming out. You know, I just had to post that. I peeped the one comment saying, you know, we need AQ. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make an AQ video. Um, honestly, it's not going to be too much of AQ. You know, I am going to be playing it, of course, while I'm doing this commentary. But it's really just a brief, you know what I'm saying, a year brief. All right, so first things first. Um, I've been doing pretty okay um, life-wise. Um, I've been busy. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I've had a lot of free time to actually get on AQ. It's just I chose not to due to, you know, not too much things being available that I liked or whatever the case may be. Um, I did check in about two weeks ago to see if the um, the Frostwood gift boxes were out and they weren't out. So I said, damn, what the fuck? You know, it's the fourth. You know, why aren't they out? But I had to remember, you know, staff likes to release, release everything late. So and I said, you know what? I'm going to come back in a couple of weeks and see if it's out. Um, disregard that, that is my messenger tone for, uh, Facebook, so, um, please disregard that, but I just put it on vibrate so you won't be hearing it anymore. Okay, so, by the looks of it, once again this year, it's going to be more free, um, gift boxes. Me, personally, I think it's cool a little bit, but honestly, I think it's kind of bullshit, because it's like, in my opinion, it decreases the value of the gift box and it kind of gives the staff an excuse to give us mediocre items hence last year's um gift boxes all right but here's my only issue as far as you know getting the gift boxes what am i going to replace for it you know like i have a lot of shit that i like to keep and um i don't really like getting rid of shit so one of the biggest issues that i'm having I um, might have to take a look back here at a different time and probably see if I'm there. And I don't see anything that I really want to get rid of, which blows. I mean, I could probably get rid of something like, um, like, like, uh, probably from like a champion pack or some shit like that, and then probably get it back if I really want it, I guess. You know, but even still, it's, it kind of sucks. I might get rid of probably this here. Um, maybe. That's a strong maybe, though. Because I do kind of like it. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of shit that I like that I want to keep. So, And I'm pretty sure that this dumb bug is still existent where you can't even buy the 78th um, armor. Because it keeps saying it's full. But... This to make sure I want to give it a try anyway, so we'll go ahead and switch to armors. Pretty sure the bug is still active, unfortunately. I need to report that actually, but um, let's take a look. Yep, still still active. Uh, okay, holy BS, but um, there's a lot of shit I have to look. I have to look really hard into this because I don't want to sell anything in the ghost rare. Or that I might need again. Because I want everything in my inventory that I need. But it looks like it's shit that I really like. That I don't want to get rid of. So I might have to come back at a different time and make the decision for myself. But now for shields, of course. Shields and spells, that's going to be extremely easy. Shields, spells, um, past miscellaneous items. You know, that's going to be easy to buy because, you know, I always have over slots. And it's, unfortunately, it's not that many rares there. So, at least in my opinion. So, that's 
gonna be easy to go ahead and fill those up. Even though I don't ever use spells, but I collect them just in case I want to switch builds for whatever fucking reason. Um, yeah. But just the armors and weapons is really my biggest issue because I collect so much of those. And back then I wasn't really too big on shields until I really got into the game. So. Okay. Let's see. Shields. Okay. Armors. So I, I will come back for the weapons and armor. I most definitely won't forget about that because I refuse to miss out. Um, let's see, my man, time shop. I forgot to check here too, but it's okay. Um, I don't. I feel like this is this is okay. This is a revamp, obviously. Um, I wasn't a big fan of this because I don't really like the whole summoning guest thing. I don't know if they changed the special. They probably didn't. It probably changed the art, of course, you know, but probably not the special itself. So I'm not really with the guest shit. But I don't think I even want that damn weapon anyway, because the the um the minimum damage is kind of low, and I'm not really with that. I mean, it can get extremely strong as it looks, you know, which is extremely lit. I'm not really a big fan of red. I hate the color red actually, so I refuse to buy that. Um, let's see, anything else that I need to take a look at? All right, let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, the event. Let's see, um, decorate the battle on tree. That's, that's a, that's kind of a seasonal thing, but a little, a little something extra does pop up. Let's see, is he talking face shop? I'm pretty sure it may be some new faces. I'm not sure, because I haven't been updated, you know, so... I wouldn't know if there was uh anybody we is looking everything here is the same. Exactly the same. Um yeah, most definitely the same. But I ain't even mad though, to be quite honest. I'm not mad. Alright, so on to the event. All right, I know that uh, there's a new Mastercraft for the year for 2018. Not interested, at least until I look at the damn um, info subs. Oh, okay. This is complete. I don't know what's in that treasure chest, so I don't want to click on it and then it's some bullshit. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll fight the Waking Nightmare. All right, so let's see how bad I do. And I'm only saying it because, you know, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm pretty sure they have nice little effects. Let's see. Okay. Because I don't really have time to be, you know, fooling around, I'm just going to try to do as much damage as possible. You know, pull out my usual setup, of course. And out my usual setup plus because they're doing darkness damage i can probably go a little bit offensive oh damn okay i did not expect that to be honest all right mcsmith who the fuck is this probably gonna do hella damage to me let's see all right he has a pyramid build weakness to one light okay okay um I realized I didn't use my buff a lot skill either, so like that was pretty good for that, you know, last battle. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go all out. To be quite honest. So Uncle Sham is causing, you know, trouble as usual. I love events involving Uncle Sham because he's kind of a classic enemy. You know, and I like classic shit. I don't really like the new shit to be honest. But I'm pretty sure that's an obvious given. Okay, um, oh, cool, free turn, so, to be honest, let me go ahead and just try to go all out with this one, too. Even though I'm health, at least keep my SP full. But, alright, so, like, back to what I was saying originally, uh, it's really been a while. I've honestly been doing 
a lot of gaming, to be quite honest. But I've always been that type of guy um, to, you know, game a lot. Um, so that's one, that's one of the biggest reasons why I haven't been on here, because I've been on my consoles and shit, you know. Um, so what I would do, and this, is, and this is also for people that's watching to this point. If anyone wants to add me on PSN, Nintendo Switch for, you know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, I would say the Wii U, but, you know, don't really ever use that. I only got that for Smash 4. And that was to hold me over until Ultimate came out. If anyone wants to add me on any platform except Xbox, because I'm not an Xbox guy, feel free, you know, to add me. I will most definitely drop that info below, you know. So you guys can go ahead and uh, goddamn add me. Uh, where the fuck? Okay, I'm about to say, where the fuck is my stronger dog? Dog from this weapon. See, it's been too long, so I'm a little rusty. But yeah, if anyone wants to add me on those platforms, I will most definitely drop the info below in the description. Um, I'll even attempt to even drop that damn suggestion thread that went dead forever ago, involving the whole classic and modern sound title. You know, um, I have been getting very few people hitting me up about, you know, trying to keep that thread alive so people can try to make it happen. But, you know, staff, you know, being staff, um, not being consistent, um, they haven't even got back to me on the requirement to make the suggestion happen. So I don't even know what it's going to take for me to make that happen. I'm surprised they even blocked all that. But, I mean, I guess because it's me, but whatever. Um... But yeah, so I will post that too as well. Okay, um, I almost definitely forgot to actually do some shit before I even came into this battle. But technically, actually technically and truthfully, I'm going in blind. Because I have not watched any videos. Um, I don't know any strategies, none of this shit. I'm just going into to the shit blind. So you guys might actually see me lose um, because of the fact that I'm going in blind. Um, okay, so it says he's using Earth, but, you know, some, some of these Leprechauns use, um, goddamn light, so, that's one thing I have to take into account, but, honestly, to make things beneficial, of course, he's a mage, so, and I'm just about low on motherfucking SP. So before I even proceed forward with attacking, you know, at least get my SP up. I would try to use Shadow Feeder, but I don't got time for me wasting any more SP. So I'm just going to straight up attack him. Um, other than that, like, adventure quest-wise, um, I've been trying to gain the motivation to, you know, make a video. But I haven't really been saying anything um, as far as... You know, events that really people interest. I try not to think that way. Oh, see, now he's using ice and light. Okay, nice, nice little twist to that. Um, but like, you know, I've been trying not to think like that. I've really been trying not to think like that. Oh, okay, this is the this is the new um nightmare queen because she got a lot more health. All right, so I'm most definitely gonna get my ass whipped. I can tell because. She did not have this much health before, and she was level 200, but that was by old standards, so. Oh, boy, this is going to be interesting. Okay, um, of course, this is a beast mage here, though, so. Oh, shit, okay. All right, this is most definitely going in blind, because I have I did not expect this. All right, uh, Damn. I mean, light is her weakness, and I could try to use Shadow Feet Pendant. I'm going to give it a try. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Oh, it worked. Okay. Big shocker. Big shocker. Because, honestly, I do not want her nuking me or fucking making me go to sleep, you know, because I don't got time for that shit, so. Um, I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible before, um... She, um, you know, attacks and kills me. Oh, shit. 
I did. Okay. Um. Did I, okay. I'm gonna say I did equip the the skill. Right. All right. So. Oh God, that was low. That was pretty low. I'm gonna take a risk here then. Let's see where this goes. Oh right. Damn. Okay. Damn. It's like old times. Just like old times. And you can still pick up a weapon, but I'm not gonna do that. Wow. Um. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Um. I just rule out today is in fact Thursday. Let's see. Um. All right, I'll I'll pick this up, of course, because you know, fucking rarity. Like this shit is gonna be rare. Let's see. Um, even though I can't really benefit from this fully, I'm just gonna take it anyway. We'll find it out. I'm pretty sure I can't collect none of these because I didn't I did not participate in the war at all, at all. Like, usually, I participate a little bit in wars, but I don't like you know fucking power farm the war um i've been wanting to sometimes and this is actually different this is actually different because uh in the past phosphor wars would probably be the only war i would be more active in even though i wouldn't do as good as you know anybody else but i would still put in the work but um let's see taking a look at this shit here harvest fast that's quite interesting that this is still here at literally the end of December. Really interesting. Really, really interesting. Okay, Harvest 2018 war. So, so it was another burp war, looks like. Hmm, interesting. So, killing two birds, one stone. Let's see. Okay, I can't benefit from that, of course. But let's see how this goes, too. So, doing two war finalities in one video. How sweet is that? Um, Alright, so... But yeah... I really am sorry that I can't get my words out right now. Because it's just, it's been so long since I made a video. It's just like, it's not really much to talk about other than briefing. You know, of like how I've been or whatever the case may be. Um... But I can say that I hope that everyone has a wonderful 2019. Because I'm honestly not sure when I'll be making another video. But best believe I am. So, at least know that. Because, you know, I'm here now. Of course, you know. I don't know if it's me or I'm connecting my attacks more often or I'm doing higher damage. Because I don't know if it's just me or was I always doing as much damage? Like, shit. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm used to the damage. Because, like, usually, Adventure Quest RNG has a stupid tendency of leaving the monster with a little bit of health left. And I'm just like, why? And then, usually, the next turn, the monster does hella damage. And you so you're stuck going into the next battle with a low-ass amount of health. Why is this monster a tank? Okay. All right. That's all good, though. Let's see. Um, what am I going to use for it, though? Better question. I'm going to use the Eternity Key. Because... The Eternity Key. Sorry. Because I really don't got time. And it's a... But it's water element, so... I can probably benefit a lot from this, then. And... You can most definitely tell I haven't been on here. Because... Usually, my tranquility charges would be, like, sky high. But between me, like, not actually being on my laptop, period, other people using my laptop, I haven't even been on here to really charge it, at least, you know, when I'm, you know, not active. But it's all good. I'm going to try to get them high again. And another thing I've been trying to avoid is actually doing videos of me just wearing a Kindred. Because, you know, Kindred, back in the day, was the go-to armor for literally anything. Preferably damage. And people would literally just make videos of them in um, Kindred's Valiance and nothing else. 
But nowadays, because of how things have changed, you can't always do that because, you know, you have to take the defense really seriously. So if you're not, if the monster is not attacking with water, you're not going to be seeing too many people using Kendra's Valiant unless they're using stun locks, um, celerity um, loops, you know, shit like that. Other than that, they're not going to be spamming Kendra like that. So that's one good thing about, you know, like the modern day AQ because back then people would spam the same armors. Though I never had a problem with that either, to be quite honest, because, you know, it just shows how much value that um, the armor had. But it kind of made every other armor obsolete. So therefore, everyone's inventory would be, you know, consistent of the same shit. Which, you know, isn't good, you know, because then people's strategies would be the same and then would make um, the AQ YouTube community even more drier. But nowadays, it's not really dry. It's, it's still kind of exclusive. Um, we have very few consistent people posting. Um, I am not included in that because, um, again, I'll be busy getting sidetracked, of course. Um, let's see what else. And, you know, me doing other things. So, I can't really say that about myself. But others, I can most definitely give props to keeping the community alive. You know, even though I most definitely do miss some of the old legends that used to post on here. Because I'm not going to lie, the legends, the old legends, they had works of art when it came to AQ videos. You feel me? So, that's one thing that I miss a lot. Okay, he's probably... Oh, shit, I actually went first. Shocking. Because that's a lot of luck that he has. Um, shit. But, yeah. Oh, God. I would try to nuke him, but I really don't want to take that risk. But I can use Shadow Feeder and, you know, at least get an extra turn off of him. Damn, that was a waste. That was most definitely a waste of SP and a turn. Oh, shit. And I think, um, I think I might have missed some golden gift boxes, too. Oh, shit. Oh, well. One thing that I need to do at some point, whenever possible, is get some damn Z tokens. Because, um, there's, you know, there's always some good shit that comes out, um, as far as Z token packages. The Dark Champion of Terrasol is out right now, and I think it's about to go rare at the end of this year, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I can't really benefit from it because I have enough dark items that's good. Though a Dark Champion of Tarasol would not be bad because I mean, it looks better than the original. Even though the original still looks dope because, you know, it's blue, you know, and blue is the best color, you know. But, I mean, what, like, like, what can, what can you say bad about the, the dark one? What, because of darkness? But, I mean, AQ does have weird choices. I thought they would come up with an Earth, um champion set by now but I don't think they did so oh and I got another free turn so I got I got a freed stack on him and I got an extra turn so if my luck is right I'll most definitely be killing him by the end of this so oh yeah that's a lot of damage first turn oh yeah he's most definitely done yeah, but he's most definitely done. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm most definitely wasted SP that last battle, too. I'm trying to be fancy. Oh, wow, I got a full heal. All right, so let's see how this motherfucker attacks. All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow, and I got a, uh, a goddamn afraid stack. That's good luck. Good ass luck, and I good, and I went first at that. So and then I got the shadow pe pe the shadow feeder pendant to work first go. Wow, everything's working in my favor. But he has bounced. 
balance weaknesses. I feel like something's tricky about that though, to be quite honest. Because I can't remember what monster it was. It was probably it was probably Shinyaro. It was Shinyaro. And when you attacked him Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't a free turn. That a free stack was consumed by his first by his first turn. Okay. I'm gonna peep that. Damn. Alright. I mean it's cool. I'm pretty sure I still got some train clothes recharges. Yes I do. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm not trying to waste time with this, so what do I wanna use? Hmm. Honestly, I'm used to throw scorn. Then again, nah, fuck that. Because when the special goes off and it shit misses, so. Oh, yeah, that was love. And that was a lucky strike, so that's how you know I couldn't miss that. Okay. This is also another, you know, battle that I win in a blind one. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This is a challenge battle. Well, well now, I did not see that coming. To be honest with you guys, I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. Going in blind, of course. To be continued.